Welcome to the Instructor's Corner. I'm Mr. Latterroot, and today we are going to learn how to program a thread on the TL1 Haas manual lathe uh, with the CNC side. We're going to use the uh, VQL function in order to write this program where uh, all we have to do is add some information and the program will be written by the control itself. So uh, let's get started. And the first thing that we would need to do is we need to press the MDI button and then the program button. That now lights up the screen where that red lettering says manual up in the top. Now by using the uh, cursor keys down here, I can now cursor over and bring up those tabs until I get to threading. Now once I get to threading, I'm going to press the enter button. And now we're going to enter the threading mode and you can see by the graphic that is on the screen that it is projecting an OD thread and if you look down in the lower left hand corner it's red and it says OD thread. So now by pressing enter we now enter the threading page in which you guys have filled out the paperwork on this so you're very familiar with looking at this uh, scene right here. Um, the first thing we're going to notice is that it says tool number one and that is the tool that we want to use in order to cut the thread on this. So we're going to press enter and accept the number one. We also are going to use work offset number 54. Um, we're also going to press enter and just accept that value. On the start point, we need to start the thread where the, the thread will start on our part. In this case, the thread is going to start at zero. So I'm going to press zero and press enter and now that will register in the uh, readout as the starting point being zero. Now the thread length is going to be 0.75. Enter. So now we have set the thread length so it's going to cut a thread to three quarters of an inch long. Now we need to know the minor diameter. Well we're cutting a 7 16th 20 thread. So on a 7 16th 20 thread, the minor diameter is 0.374 and 9 tenths. So I'm going to key that in and accept that, and now it's written in the box as the minor diameter. The next thing I'm going to put in is the major diameter. Now the major diameter of a 7 16th 20 I'm going to put in the fractional equivalent of 7 16ths, which is 0.4375. And I'm going to hit the enter and put that in. Now, the TPI, or the threads per inch, I need to put in 20 threads per inch because it is a 7 16ths 20 thread. So let me put in 2, 0, and then the decimal point has to follow the 2, 0. That is now in there, in the TPI box. Depth of cut says 10 thousandths. That's a little bit too aggressive. We're going to change that to 0 .006, and we're going to enter that. The spindle RPM is 500. We will leave it at that. And all of these other things are good, and we will just check and see if the coolant is off or on. If it's off, we put it on. And then once we get to that point, Everything is written as far as the information that we need to thread. Now what we want to do is we want to output that program. So we come over here to the buttons where it says the F4. And we will press that F4 button. And as we do, it opens up a dialog box on the screen that's asking me if I would like to select a program or output it to a current program or I'll put it to MDI or create the program. Well, I have the program in my machine control already that is ready to accept this information. It is program 01235. That is the threading program that would always be used when we're threading, 01235. So I'm going to say 
I'm going to enter to select the program or I could use output to current because the, the program's already loaded. But if it wasn't, I would go to select program and then look for that program. So I'm going to hit output to current and then press enter. Now it changed over and it came to 01235 and it's sitting there waiting and it's going to give a message down below here that says press insert or cancel. Well, you can press the enter button as well as the insert key. So I'm going to press the enter button right now and look at that. It just wrote the whole program that I need is now in the control. Now it's important that I don't press enter again because it will write the same program over again. So what I want to do is make sure that I come down here and I hit the cancel button so that it brings me back to this screen and then I cancel again to bring me all the way out so that it's back to this point and now I am completely out of this, the screen that's going to write any programs. I can now, pressing the edit key, go and see the program that was written and make sure that there's no errors that I haven't programmed something incorrect. Okay, so from here you should be able to run your program and we will have another video on how to first run 